So this is the tool that Ontario Rangers use the most often. It's called a Sandvik. Uh, if you go to a store, it'll be known as a brushing axe, but anybody who's been a ranger knows that we call them Sandviks. Uh, pretty common tool. You'll have one sharp end on the one side, dull on the other side, so you can use this as a handle. Essentially, your typical sand viking work. Uh, some of the stuff we'll do a lot will be tending, so when we work in forest plots and that kind of thing, if I were to assume that this was a sapling I wanted to preserve, tending would be clearing all other plant life around it, normally for about a one meter radius. If it's trees, then we might go a bit wider. So you'd use the sand vic to want to eliminate anything else that could encroach on this plant's sources in terms of light, water, uh, and all those kinds of things. So tending is something that a lot of rangers do. We'll work with research centers or with other uh, tree planting companies to make sure that what they do plant has the best chance of survival. The other thing that sandvix can be used for is trail clearing. So right now we can see there's an old trail here and the Ontario Rangers, we always try to preserve whatever trails we have instead of creating new ones so we have the least environmental impact. It's the same thing as when we're clearing a trail. We don't want to take out all the trees. We just want to get rid of the branches necessary so that people can enjoy the trail without having branches potentially hit them in the face and create scratches. So depending on the kind of work you're doing, normally you'd have one hand on your sandvik. You want to hold the branch. These ones fall right off, so you wouldn't even need a sandvik for this one. However, if I wanted to get rid of, let's say, this tree or this tree right here, just move that. You want to want to use, you can use a two-handed chop if you want, and a diagonal motion downwards, and that's going to cut your tree. Uh, you'll also want to do it as low to the ground as you can. If something's about this high, then if you trip and you fall, you could actually impale yourself on it. So it's really important that we teach the rangers to go as low as they can. So if I were to take this tree here, for example, or actually I'll go for this one because this is the one that's really causing a problem. What you'll want to do is get rid of all your obstacles that could impede your swing. And then just with your two-handed chop, remove the tree. You tear it away in the bush so it's not in anybody's way. And now that tree that was causing problems for this trail has been removed. So normally, you know, I would clear a whole section before I start carrying them off to be a bit more efficient, but for the sake of the demonstration, I only did one. A typical ranger camp would have 24 female or male students doing this all in a row. So in a single day, you can cover tons and tons of kilometers and make a trail nice and wide. The rule of thumb, depending on your trail, if it's just a hiking one, you could go a bit smaller. If it's a portage, use a sandvik as your rule of thumb. So as you walk, you just move your sandvik. Obviously, you would hold this end down. Anything your sandvik touches would probably impede your canoe on your shoulders. So you don't want it to be in the way. You don't want to catch in your canoe or your gear. So for example, this tree here, although I don't want to get rid of the tree, I could get rid of the branches. Once again, if I just do one hand, just chop and you cut it nice and short down to the trunk, which leaves, uh, which leaves no impact on the tree as well if you cut it down. So this knob I'd get rid of, but this one right here, if you leave a stump like this, the tree could leak sap and it could injure the tree further. So you want to make sure the rangers do it properly as well. Shears are another great tool or loppers, depending what you call them, are another great tool for this kind of work. But this is the kind of typical chair clearing that an Ontario ranger would do.